Are you feeling stuck? Brain fogginess? Just not having the get up and go that you did a few weeks ago? Well, let's talk about engaging your brain and creating new neural pathways by using unconventional ways in your daily routine of engaging your different senses. This is called neurobics, and it takes just seconds or up to a few minutes a day, depending on what you choose to do, in order to help you have better mental clarity and keep your brain nice and sharp so that your nervous system and your immune system are functioning at its optimal level. So the way that we do neurobics is that we engage our senses. So we have six senses, our sight, our hearing, our sense of smell, our sense of taste, our sense of touch, and also our emotions, our social interconnectedness. So we want to engage these senses in a different way than we normally do. As we get older, we tend to fall into patterns or routines, and that doesn't allow the brain to keep replenishing itself and create new pathways at the rate that it once did. So one of the things that you can do, I mentioned it in a past video, is just go out and look at far away things. Look at the treetops, look at church steeples, watch the birds flying. This video has been done in the springtime. Go outside and look to see what's coming up from the ground. It's very exciting. Watch the chipmunks and the squirrels. Look at nature. The second thing that you can do to engage your sense of hearing is when you're outside, listen to the different sounds outside. Listen to the birds chirping, dogs barking, maybe a basketball bouncing on the ground. Perhaps you could listen to a different type of music that you normally listen to. Another thing that you can do to engage your senses is your sense of smell. Cook something different or have some essential oils in your home. Right now, citrus oils are great. They'll perk you up. The smell of vanilla is very soothing. So you can engage in these different scents in order to create new neural pathways for your brain and to help you feel recharged. Your sense of taste, that's another one. So have some different foods. Create some different foods with your family or if you're going and you're ordering takeout, try a different dish than you normally try. Engage in different tastes. The fifth sense is your sense of touch. So you can go and you can do some games or some jigsaw puzzles, or you can even just pick up some change without looking at it and see, can you distinguish the difference between a nickel and a quarter or a penny and a dime? You can also do things like brush your teeth with your non-dominant hand or cook with your non-dominant hand or open a door with your non-dominant hand. And the last of our senses, the sixth one, is our sense of emotions, which is this is our social interconnectedness. And at the time of this video is the quarantine, which a lot of us have developed different ways in order to communicate with each other. So that we're all probably doing a pretty good job with. So this video, is about neurobics and helping you to engage your brain differently to keep yourself nice and sharp. Remember, health is a choice. Keep your immune system and your nervous system strong. Choose to be alive and well.